We're on a mission to discover if there's a better way. <laughs> there is no sports club without a community. Airborne. The gym club is a family. Uh, I know that you find in lots of sports clubs that is what they want to achieve, um, but I genuinely believe that we have achieved that. Um, so our ethos is that every child, every parent that is a part of what we do is one. Yeah, because we're together so much, it feels like we're almost connected as a family. They're so kind and um, they help us with stuff if we didn't get them that right. Our biggest thing is that it has never mattered what age children I put together at Airborne. They look after one another. And those older children naturally lead the way, naturally nurture our younger members, um, which is the most important part of our club. And yes, you have coaches there to, to teach gymnastics, but our children learn from the older gymnasts and they aspire to do what those older gymnasts are doing. Um, and I think when we first started Airborne, the idea was we'd be this recreational gymnastics club um, that just had a fabulous ethos about it. And in fact, we've surpassed that and we're now creating athletes, but we haven't lost the ethos side of that club just because now we're creating children that actually are gonna go to regional and national level competitions and they're gonna do well. Um, and that's something I never want to lose. That's always been my priority and that will never change. What I find really interesting about Airborne and also what we're trying to achieve long term is creating shared experiences um, via something that's really intentional. So yeah. actually thinking about how you put together um, a system and a society and a community that that works yeah. and obviously you, you do that day in day out right through your club and we're kind of trying to create that in life does that make sense to you 100%. and is that part of the reason that you're you're getting involved yeah I mean I think what you're doing is fabulous I think everyone is stuck in what they think we should be doing day in day out and we get up and we go to work and we come home and, and we're just this one family that just does everything together but and I think if there was a set space that was safe and everyone felt safe in everyone would be so um, much more willing to look outside the box super so that's what we're going to be looking for today now who wants to be my demonstration Kiki, you were first up. I mean, I had Tatty and Kiki rocking up at sports camps when they were just walking. We have been so connected that, you know, taking that those few children out of the system just seems to have caused uproar in the club. And, <laughs> and the girl, you know, their friends are so concerned about where they're going. And then apart, aside from the girls, I had Katie who, taught me at school and probably was a big impact as to why I ended up doing what I did and why I've probably been so successful. Um, so buying into you as a family and what you're trying to achieve, we're just, we just want to back you. So I'm going to talk to you about, from our perspective, why this partnership is so exciting. And I suppose for me, it feels like it's the first kind of, well, it is the first club that's got involved, right? And because we're all about community and you know extending the family and that being bigger, yeah. that for me is what's really exciting about this partnership is, is the fact that it feels like we can do something here where we can share our story with a much bigger family than perhaps the individuals that have been getting involved on Patreon so far. Yeah. Um, does that make sense to you? Yeah, and, that's and I think it's gonna be great for, you know, a lot of our members do know who you are and, and what's going on, but probably a lot of them haven't even heard about it yet. And I think that once maybe we can stream some things through the Airborne page and Airborne social media, that'll open up a whole other audience as well. Um, 
So yeah, I think it's going to be a great partnership, 100%. Okay. Yeah, well, one of the things we're definitely going to do for Airborne as we're away is, is exactly that, try and in every place distill our learnings and then pass those back via, via videos yeah. to the whole community in terms of what we're learning. And that might be related to gym stuff, uh, like what people are doing in a different part of the world, yeah. like some of these maybe more remote communities, like how, how are people staying fit and healthy, yeah. which is, I think is really relevant. And then probably widen that just about life and you know trying to pass on the learnings that the kids are directly finding yeah. as we go away. And, as and a pass club. On. It's not just about the sport itself, it's about giving those children life skills, personable skills, um, learning how lots of different people live and how they, how they work from day to day can only make them a better person. And as a gymnastics club, our idea and venture is, is to make every single child that comes through the doors a better person when they then leave. Um, and I'm excited to see what findings you have and also, if you can come back to me and say, Lauren, why don't you try this at Airborne? Like, we're so open to new ideas and, and being that club that isn't just the same as all the others. Um, so I think that's going to be a huge help to us as a business as well. It's hugely exciting for us. Um, and just thank you, a massive thank yeah. you. It's, you know, we're really pumped by it. And, and I think it's going to be an amazing partnership for the next year and a bit. And then 100%. we come back and crack on, which is also so exciting. Yeah, it'll be superb. And we just can't wait to watch the experience and then have those girls back and, and um, watch them grow up again.